What is matter? There was a little particle called Adam. One day, Adam met three friends: Gary Gas, Larry Liquid, and Sally Solid. They invited Adam to their home, the science laboratory. So Adam followed them. As he walked behind them, he admired their shapes and forms. He thought Sally is so strong. Gary is so free-flowing. When they went inside the laboratory, Gary, Sally, and Larry said to Adam, "Come follow us. We have to show you something." When Adam saw what was inside, he was very surprised to look at many other atoms making up a bottle. All these atoms looked just like him. They were all packed together with little space between them. One of them said, "Come on, Adam, join us." So Adam went and stood at the side of the atom. Then he packed himself as closely as he could with the other atoms. As Adam stood with his friends, he asked, "What are we making up?" His friend Adam said. We are together making up a plastic bottle. We have all packed together as atoms to form a solid, a state of matter. Matter? Asked Adam. Yes, said the friend Adam. He continued to explain. Almost everything in the world is matter. Matter takes different forms. There are liquids like Larry. There are solids like Sally, and gases like Gary. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. His friend Adam continued, "We are packed together and have been formed into a plastic bottle. The plastic bottle has mass, and it is solid. Mass." What is mass? asked Adam. The atom explained, "All matter has mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. This lightweight plastic bottle we are a part of has mass like that heavy glass pitcher. But this bottle contains less matter, or has less mass than that pitcher. Also." Our bottle occupies less space than the pitcher, so it has less volume than the pitcher. Volume? asked Adam. Yes, volume is a measure of how much space an object occupies, or the amount of space enclosed within a container. I see," said Adam. Since we are a lightweight plastic bottle, we have less amount of matter and take up less space, which means we have less mass and less volume than something heavier and bigger like a glass pitcher. Yes, Adam, you are really taking the matter into your own hands by catching on so quickly. Hey, where is Larry Liquid? asked Adam. Oh, he is over there," said Sally Solid. He is doing his magic trick. How come he takes up those shapes?" asked Adam. "Well, he needs to be contained, or he will just spill out," explained Sally. Let's see what magical thing happens when Larry Liquid is poured into the bottle you are a part of. The friend Adam explained, Larry takes the shape of our bottle. He would take the shape of that pitcher if he went inside it. He does not have a fixed shape, asked Adam. No. Larry does not have a fixed shape, 
but he still takes up space. He is matter too, like your solid bottle and pitcher. But he is a liquid, a different state of matter, explained Sally. What about Gary Gas? Where is he? asked Adam. Sally said, "Well, he is spreading in all directions. Gary Gas is filling all the empty space in this room. He does not have a fixed shape or volume. Gary Gas is part of the air that we breathe. He has mass and occupies space. Gary is a different state of matter, a gas." Let's see what happens to Gary Gas when he goes inside the balloon. Wow, that is amazing," said Adam. "You can't see Gary Gas, but you can surely see that the balloon is filling with his state of matter, gas. So let me make sure I got this right." We, the atoms that are part of this bottle, are one state of matter, a solid. Larry is another state of matter, a liquid, and Gary is another state of matter, a gas. One thing we all have in common is that we are all matter, just different states of it. Yes, you've got it all right," said the friend Adam. I have another question. If we are all states of matter, how come we all look different? Asked Adam. The friend Adam explained, "Well, matter can have many different properties. Matter may be big or small. It may feel smooth or rough. Also, it may have different colors and shapes." For example, look at this ice cube. An ice cube has no color. It is cube-shaped. It feels smooth in touch. It has a watery taste. It is light in weight, and it is cold. Let's look at the properties of a liquid now. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate is brown in color. Being a liquid, it takes the shape of its container. It feels wet, smooth in touch. It is sweet in taste. It is heavy in weight, and it is hot. Adam said, "Thank you, Adams. I feel so much better being a part of your group and becoming this state of matter, a solid as a bottle." I am glad Larry Liquid has a home inside of us, since he needs a container to occupy. Gary Gas is spreading in all directions and filling the room or the balloon. I've also learned a lot about the properties that make us different. Before you know it, kids will be arriving here to learn all about the states of matter and many more exciting things.